I am a Twitch leech. Wow, look at that intro. It was like totally summed up the premise of this video. Nick Nimmin tactics. Yeah, pro tips. Yeah, YouTube video pro tips. Anyway, guys, today we're going to talk about not YouTube. We're talking about Twitch.tv today. And if you guys don't know, me and my boy Jansen stream on Twitch at TSGB underscore TV. You can follow us there Saturdays at 6 or 7 p.m. Depending on what time you're watching this daylight savings crap. Anyway. There's a new thing on, there's a new Twitter beef kind of thing Keemstar posted about this chick, okay? There's this chick on here. We're going to talk about the leech Twitch chick. Twitch chick, leech Twitch kick. So let me just say that I'm a streamer on Twitch and I'm also a viewer on Twitch because I support my friends. But, you know, I don't donate or sub or watch any of the ads because man's use ad blocker. What the heck? Who doesn't use ad blocker these days? But the question is, does that make me a leech? Okay, does that make me a leech on Twitch? I, I, I hope not. <laughs> but all we know is that there's this new chick on the block, okay? Or I don't know how long she's been around. I've never heard of this girl in my life. I've never seen her before, but you know, last time it was about the guy beating his wife, and now this time it's this girl, okay? So we all know about this new chick on the block who is currently on blast, okay? For calling her non-paying viewers leeches. Okay? Telling them that if you don't, you know, watch ads or donate or sub, then you're a leech because if you watch Twitch for free, then you're you're leeching the system and you're not contributing towards the system, I guess, which is weird because Twitch is designed to be free anyway for accessibility purposes. You know what I mean? And it's kind of weird that she would say that to her own viewers. Okay, that's really, really savage. Really, really savage. When I heard that, like I could feel that in my nuts because she hit me in the god <laughs> balls dropped them on the floor, kicked them to the side, and threw them at her ad blockers. But you know what? Like, to some degree, like, I can get where she's coming from, and I do somewhat agree with her. Like, I, I do agree that the subs, like, subbing to Twitch, uh, your Twitch streamers, and watching ads um, does help contribute towards, you know, uh, you know, Twitch being a free experience. Which at the end of the day, that's what we want. We want the accessibility, just like how YouTube is. Like, obviously, how are you going to pay the bills? Like, think of it this way. They're like free to play games, okay? They're free to play games on the market, right? Where you don't have to pay for anything to play the game. But there are always going to be people like whales who will pay for microtransactions and stuff like that. And, you know, the premium pass and all that stuff. And that's how they fund their money. And that's the companies make their money in addition to all these other, you know, business practices they do. Like festivals and stuff like that. Fortnite festival. Talk about that later. But does that make you the player? You know, does that make me as somebody who plays like Fortnite for free or Apex Legends for free? Does that make me a leech on the game? Does that make me a bad person? Does that make me a scumbag? Does it make me a cheap, a cheap ass? It's free to play. Then why? I don't have to pay for it. So why would I voluntarily pay for something, right? It's just like, you know, simple risk and reward. You know, why would I? I I mean, if I had extra money going around, but a lot of people don't, which is why these free services exist because it's funded by, you know, different things and it's meant to to be free, right? We pay for internet, I guess. But like, this, like when you bring it to Twitch, does that make you an ungrateful and bad person, right? To watch something that's already supposed to be free? I feel like donations and, sub and subscriptions and, and ad watching is kind of an optional thing, right? It's just an optional thing. I, like, I'm pretty sure Twitch should have something in place for them to make money if people don't do that, right? Because they know people have ad blockers. They know subscription is optional. If it was supposed to be a pay, pay to play service, then they would make them mandatory just to access the site. You know what I mean? So like, what is this girl on? Like, I thought it was like super disrespectful, uh, you know, as a viewer and as a streamer for her to say this to her own community. And I think it represents us, as, uh, like me as a content creator. Creator. Like, I don't want people thinking that I'm just in it for the money. Like, of course I'm in, like, I'm in it for the money, but that's not all I'm in it for. Like, obviously you want to turn your passions into a career and something. You want to pay the bills with the things you want to do. Like, that's a simple thing. I don't know why people shame that, but like, when you make it your only goal, then that's a problem, you know? And you're just going to face disappointment and then you're going to look like a scumbag, bro. You know, I, I participate in Twitch activities. You know, I, I am a viewer and I help out my friends. And, you know, I, I personally can't donate or subscribe to people because, you know, I have my own money problems. I have my own financial obligations. And, you know, I buy a lot of hentai links, you know, on the side. And I don't have the money for that. But, that, like, you know, I, sp I try to make up with it in other ways. I go and I talk to them. And I, you know, I, I give them my time, right? 
time is more important than money, if anything, right? People spend time to come and watch you. People spend time to watch your videos, right? The people who came to your, the, the girl's stream, to your stream, they're, they're spending their time to watch you. And then you just downplay them like that? Like, it's almost like your Black Ops 4 tactics when they run, you don't have the Battle Pass triangle cheese. And then you make, you shame them into buying the Battle Pass. It's just like, dude, like, holy, holy crap, the horse is high. Jesus Christ. Like, I don't think this is, like, to watch your service and give your time to somebody you want to watch on Twitch? How can that be leeching, bro? If anything, I'm doing you a favor. You know what I mean? What I think leeching would be considered is not watching you for free and supporting you. Hello, I'm not going to support you anymore, though. But I think leeching would be to try to befriend, like, a partnered streamer or a growing streamer without actually liking their content for, like my 15 seconds of fame or literally leech off the viewers in an attempt to network kappa i show my friends support okay and i with my god time okay my time okay the most important thing in this world that you don't get back your time right and i think we i think as content creators we take this for granted like we, we really just take this for granted here i kind of think she went off the edge of the cliff with this like She's just, she just let her ego get to her. And I think as content creators, like that can happen. It happens to me a lot too. And I really have to like make the conscious effort to humble down. She's got to have some of that humble berry pie because holy macaroni. I don't know if she's going to come back from this. Like for me, like I honestly believe that I'm meant to be a content creator, right? I like to create things. I like to make things. I like to copy things. You know, I like to do those things. I like to recreate. I do music. I do all that fun stuff, and, you know, and all, all that jazz. But at the end of the day, I do it because I like it, you know? And I enjoy it and it's my passion, right? And if any money I get from it or people I want to share it with me and they like it, then hey, that's a bonus, right? Right? No one just does this for the money because you're going to burn out quick. And the people can see right through that, right? As a content creator, you want to be genuine, especially people want genuine people and you want to be real. But maybe that real, I guess, if you're actually doo doo munch crunch mans, then I guess, yeah, that's, that's garbage, garbage tactics. Like if you give me money or sub to me, like it's just an added bonus, right? Then I can use to, you know, invest into equipment, and then, you know, use that equipment to give you a better experience, right? I mean, that's at the end of the day, that's what it is, right? People who watch your content and support you for free and always coming out but don't pay you money and then talking down to them, that's actually garbage. That's like garbage, bro. Like, that's, oh my God, that's, it's actually unbelievable. Like, why would, like, you just literally, you honestly just think of your viewers as numbers at that point. Like I've had a number of viewers in the past, like look for support. And then, you know, when they actually decide to actually watch the content, they actually like it. This whole time people are talking about how like, oh, we're going to support, we're going to support you. Yeah, I support you. But you never even watched the damn thing. I think that's actually cheese. That's more cheese than your viewers actually watching you, but not paying you. It's not even cheese for that. That's not even cheese. Like, you have no case here. That's why like when I, when I run into those kind of people who just kind of fake support you and don't even actually care about your content. Like I, I just don't, I turn a blind eye to that. And I just care about the, and I invest in the community that people who do spend their time, bro. Like I don't, you know, like for my stream personally, I don't reward anybody for, for giving me money or, or subbing to me. Like I do a little, you know, non-monetary things. Like I put them on the sub hot or whatever on there and I make it look cool and they get that little recognition. But I don't talk down to my viewers. I always try to keep everyone on the same pace. I, I allow the, the regular viewers who can't contribute to that. I allow them with the points, you know, to get the sub perks with their time instead. So they don't have to be behind this paywall. These viewers are supposed to be like your friends, man. Like they're supposed to be the people in the room who, who you're, you're out and chilling with. But when you talk down to them, that's just saying like, hey man, thanks for coming to my Christmas party. Little Jack, little Jack, you can go home. You didn't give me a present. Get out of here. You're leeching this party and put back the cupcake. You know what I mean? It's just like absolutely ridiculous, man. Like it should be enough. It should be enough for you as a content creator for people to show up and really appreciate what you're making, really appreciate your content. And then be able to make a living off of that, right? But you shouldn't be like panhandling people and trying to get money out of them. It's just absolutely ridiculous. She's actually running Scrooge tactics. Like the three ghosts of Christmas, MySpace, Twitch, and YouTube are coming for her, for her ungrateful ass. And she's going to get that rude awakening, bro. Anyway, this chick needs to get her act together, humble down, have a piece of humbleberry pie, go on, a, go on a religious retreat, do something, go work on a farm, learn to ride a horse, become OP at riding that horse, and then get off the goddamn high horse, make some coffee and smell it because she done messed up, dude. Oh my God. I got to promise myself that I'll never become like that. I have to consciously remind myself to not to do that. And I think a lot of us as content creators have to remind ourselves not to do that either. But either way, she's going to be getting, you know, 
she's gonna be getting a lot of negative attention for this, but at the same time, probably nothing's gonna come out of it because at the end of the day, her loyal is gonna be like, hey, don't worry about it. And I think that's good. She should focus on those people. But don't, guys, don't shame your viewers, man. Don't shame the people who care about you. Don't push them out like that. I just gotta make sure that I get off my high horse before I even sign up for horse riding classes. Anyway, guys, I wanna know what you guys think about this. Um, was she in the right? Was she in the wrong? Does she have a point? Is she right to some extent? Is she scumbag? Is she OP man? Is she real AF? I don't know. For me, I think that's just disrespectful. She does make some good points, but I think it's just she shouldn't have directed it towards her own <laughs> fan base like that. It's just for Doculus. Anyway, guys, this is me, Mason, for the TSGB USB Cookie Deku Show, and I'm getting off my high horse early. Peace out, A Town. Subscribe, all the memes, all that stuff. Okay, guys, peace out. Later, down. <laughs>